Hey friends, it's Mari here with another project for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to show you the products I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using the Making Waves Long Border Dies. And I'm also going to use this really cool stamp that's called the Sandy Shores Stamp. It creates a really cool effect when you stamp it onto your cardstock. It looks like little grains of sand. I'm going to use the really awesome Birds of Paradise stamps and honeycuts. I'm going to use this bird here that I'm showing you and the companion honeycut to cut that little guy out. And I also wanted to use these circle spotlight stencils and masks today. I'm going to use this stencil here of this one circle that I'm showing you and also going to use the Wish You Were Here stamp set. I'm going to use that sentiment there, Wish You Were Here, and the Companion Honeycut to cut that sentiment out. So those are all of the products I plan on using today for my card. I'm just going to give you a quick glimpse of the card that I'm going to be making. I will uh, just say that the uh, palm trees that I have cut here I did cut out the um, coconuts. I didn't do that on camera, but I just wanted to show you that detail now. And those were cut from the uh, beach, ad, beach house add on honey cuts. I'm starting off here today with some ink blending. I'm going to do a lot of ink blending for this card. I'm starting off with a piece of Bristol Smooth cardstock. I'm working on my waffle flower media mat here and I'm blending on some ink with my Honey Bee Stamps blending brushes. I'm using some broken china ink here for the beginning of my sky. I really wanted my sky to look like a beautiful tropical sunset. And so I'm going to work with the blue and then I'm going in with some abandoned coral. I'm also going to blend on some ripe persimmon and I'm going to use a couple of different yellow colors, mustard seed and scattered straw. I'll start off with scattered straw and then work towards mustard seed but I'm using all of these colors just to blend in to create this really pretty uh, sunset. If you've ever seen a sunset over the ocean it is absolutely stunning. I do not uh, capture it uh, as far as the actual beauty goes but uh, definitely had fun creating this blend. Now I do end up making that orangey corally area a little bit larger off camera but this is just going to kind of give you a general idea of how I blended these colors. So once again going back over the broken china again and <clears throat> pardon me just going back and forth through the different colors and blending them on. Now I also used a little bit of um, the Concord purple color and that is just sort of like the very edge of that sky. And now you'll just see me here, that's dusty Concord I should have said there, um, adding a little bit of salty ocean for the water and you can see how I've masked the sky area off so that I don't get this onto that area of the sky. So the salty ocean and then going in with a little bit of blueprint sketch as well just to deepen the color of the ocean. Really love this blend together. I think it's super pretty and you know there's something about the color of the ocean you know in Hawaii or in the Caribbean. It's just such a pretty color of blue and I was trying to capture that with these ink blends here that I'm using. So just going to finish blending that out and just going to reveal that and it's so pretty. I love that. Now I am going to take this and put it into my um, splat box, my homemade splat box. I'm going to spritz on some sheer, sheer shimmer spritz there to make everything really sparkle and shine. I'm going to dab up the excess with just a bit of toweling and it's just going to kind of add some shimmer and shine and distressing to that background. I will take my heat tool and just heat that up a little bit to dry it and that panel is ready to start building my scene. I will stamp out my sandy area on a piece of craft cardstock using of course that sandy shore stamps stamp. I'm going to pick the stamp up with the door of my misty. I'm going to ink it up with some brown ink. Swing the door of the misty over and stamp that brown ink onto my craft paper and that's going to kind of create the impression of the sand. I'll take that Making Waves uh, die that's just the, the um, wider wave and because uh, I don't want it to make it, I don't want to make it look like water obviously I want to make it look like a, just a nice soft wave. 
I'm just going to get that inked up again and stamp that out so I have a nice impression and use my Be Creative uh, cloth, microfiber cloth to clean that up. Now you can see I've used that die to create my wavy sand and I am going to glue that down and then trim the excess off using my uh, Honeybee Stamps Creative Precision Tip glue pen there to uh, get that glued down. Now these are the palm trees that the dies for these once again like I mentioned earlier are in the beach, add -on, beach house add-on uh, dies and these create just the most awesome palm trees. I love these and I'm going to um, I've I've cut the or trimmed out the uh, trunks of my palm trees with some brown cardstock as you can see here and then the tops of the palm trees cut with just some green cardstock. I will pop those green palm fronds up on a little bit of foam adhesive just to give them a little bit of dimension on my card and get those stuck down and I will trim the excess palm leaves that are sticking over the edge there just off with my scissors. It's kind of interesting how the the shimmer spritz almost kind of makes it look like there's stars in the sky. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, just really like how that sky turned out. So I'm just going to trim off that little bit of excess of those palm fronds there with my cutter B scissors. Get rid of that and we're ready to move on to the sentiment. Now I'm going to um, sorry, not the sentiment, my little bird here. So I'm going to stamp out one of my birds of paradise with some Memento Tuxedo black ink. Now I actually just colored this little guy off camera with my Copic markers, just really some simple coloring with some kind of like tropical bird colors, some oranges, blues, greens, and reds. And I'm going to pop that little guy up on some foam and add him to my little scene. And I'm also going to stamp out my sentiment here on some Nina 80 pound cardstock in using my VersaFine Onyx Black ink here. I'm going to stamp that a couple of times so that I get a nice even impression. And then I'm going to take the Companion Honey Cuts. It's going to cut this out, which is awesome and get that sentiment all trimmed out for my card. I'm going to pop my card front up on some foam double-sided adhesive here. So I'll cover the whole back of this panel with this uh, double-sided adhesive, trim or take off that um, the backing uh, and stick that down to my card base. I just used a white A2 size card base here for my card today. And I'm going to pop my sentiment up on some foam adhesive as well and add that to the top area. And now I'm just gonna add some details. So I'm going in with a little bit of Wink of Stella, I'm going to add a little bit of sparkle to my lovely little uh, Paradise Birdie here, so cute. This is just a really whimsical card. Obviously this bird is very large. <laughs> for this beachy area but it's just supposed to be a whimsical fun card and the sentiment I think says it all like wish you were here and like don't we all just kind of like wish we were there <laughs> on that tropical beach right about now I'm going to add just a little bit of Nouveau Glaze to my little bird's eye to give it a little bit of dimension I'm adding some gold stickles here and there on my little bird just to give my bird a little bit of sparkle. I'm taking my white, I have taken my white uh, gel pen and added a few highlights here and there as well. And I wanted to finish my card off just with a few shiny sparkly sequins here. And I will add those down with my, um, my precision tip glue pen and just pick those up and dab a little glue down and add those sequins down to my card and that's going to be my card today. So like I said I did end up die cutting out those coconuts and adding those to my palm tree. You can see those in the still shot, the up close shot of my card here in a minute. I had so much fun making this. Um, lots of fun with the different stamps and dies and the distress ink. Please make sure that you check out the description box below to links to all of the products that I used and to the Honey Bee Shop. Have an amazing day friends stay safe and stay well and I hope to see you again here on the channel bye bye